Hello there, people, and welcome to yet another Q2 level. Last time around, we checked out something that was entirely useless and broken. This time around, we're checking out Hell's Garden. I've heard of Hell's Kitchen, but never Hell's Garden. Apparently, it's right next to the kitchen. Well, let's check this thing out. It's probably going to be green. It's probably going to be a maze. It's probably going to be terrible. Because that's everything in Q2. Oh boy, look at that. Freaky green everywhere. That that, that totally looks brilliant. I, I feel motivated to play the level now. Hooray! It actually works! Th th this is amazing. We actually have a level that works. Okay. So, uh... Greenness everywhere. Now what? Well, let's see here. We have a room with the pentagram. And that's all that was on that side. So now we have to come back this way. My god, there's just a bunch of doorways everywhere, aren't there? But did they just like throw all these guns in like close succession with each other? Look at this! There's like a gun in almost every room in a su quick succession. This is like going to be the entire level. Wow. Okay, I did not expect that to be that quick. They, they literally just put the three power-ups in the side areas, and have the main area to basically all the guns. And that's the entire level. Like, basically just throw all the guns in one for each room. Have a side area with the power-up. You made a level! Brilliant! I, I, I could never think of this! Yeah. This is a totally brilliant design that nobody has thought of. Yeah, totally unique, totally standoutish. Can we actually spawn different locations? Holy guacamole, we can actually do stuff now! We actually have a working functional deathmatch level! You know, even if it's absolutely terrible, it's working! <laughs> I guess that's an improvement? I'm not sure since nobody plays any of these anyway, but at least it works. That's something, right? Well, yeah. That was good. So, yeah. <laughs> it basically is another green level with a bunch of stuff randomly thrown about in tiny little rooms. Um, like I said, improvement in some ways, specifically the fact that it actually works. Not exactly an improvement in the fact that, man, that it's just a bunch of rooms scattered together in a close succession. It, it, it's like, put one room for each gun, one room for each power-up. You made a level, congrats. I, I, I mean, it doesn't exactly take Einstein to make this level. Um, if Einstein actually made this, this would be pretty sad. <laughs> yeah. Einstein was actually part of the Q2 crew, and this was his final project before he died. He he discovered a lot of things, including how to torture people in terrible levels. Anyway, well, that mind, all that mind, I don't even know what I'm talking about. I'm just trying to say stuff to make the videos longer, because this stuff is going by too quickly. Seriously, this stuff is like popcorn stuff, and it's really has no uh, density at all to it. And I guess that's a big part of the problem, is the fact that matter that there's just no uh, quantity or quality to any of this stuff, really. It's just kind of there. <laughs> so, yeah. Another Quake level that's there! Nice to look at this stuff 20 years later and relive it, right? <laughs> This is what we needed. We needed to review Q2 20 years later. Anyway, I'm bored. See you all later. Thank you very much all for watching all that stuff. Yada, yada, yada. Get out of here and get a life. It's much better than trying to sit here watching Q2 videos. They're absolutely terrible. Don't be like me. I have to suffer. Don't you suffer. <laughs> Adios, muchachos.